comes the England free kick, looking for Bronze, it's two! It's two! You do not want to mess with a lioness. When they score two goals in just three minutes, their Canadian hosts must have been crying, as England's women's team secured their place in the semi-finals against Japan tonight. As the team train at the Commonwealth Stadium in Edmonton with the dream of making the World Cup final in sight, the star lionesses seem quietly confident. We've got a great bunch of people here, on the pitch as well as off the pitch. You know, we've got great staff and a great coach in Mark Sampson. Um, but yeah, I think we're one step away from a World Cup final. I think no one really expected that back home, but from within camp we kind of knew that we had it in us to come this far. With each performance we've grown, it might not be in terms of the play, but as players, mentally, you know, we've kind of just, each game, sort of something's changed and something's gotten better and we've learned from each game as it's gone and I think that really shows and that's the why we are in the semi-final. Just to put it into perspective, the last time an England team got this far in the World Cup was in Italia 90, when Gazza and Co were still playing. If they do make it through, the Lionesses will face the USA, who beat Germany 2-0 in Montreal last night to earn their place in the final. And watching the fortunes of not only the team tonight, but England's left-back Claire Rafferty from her old school in South London, her former PE teacher told us she's already a winner. She was very um, tenacious. She'd always want the ball. Um, growing up through all the sports, Claire was always the one that would fight, very determined, um, really focused on the win, but also being a team player. Um, so, yeah, she was a great role model for the, the younger girls. As you can see, pupils there are feeling inspired too. Um, we're really um, honoured to see an old coffee and play for a Girls England team and we hope they do really well tonight. She does. Despite being on sparkling form so far, England are the underdogs. Japan are reigning champions. But for now, let's dare to dream that football could finally be coming home. Minnie Stevenson, 5 News.